Hey guys and girls, here I am again with Mr. Narius, whose run I have changed from a very positive one into a rather negative one out of pure and unexcusable stupidity by dusting his whole wonderful equipment. Oh my god, and here is already the Aunt Queen, which means that this is our last chance to get a corpse for acid resistance and I hope that we will even be able to kill this girl. Come on, hopefully we are quicker than her. How quick is she? 99, we should be able to outrun her rather easily. Yeah, we've got the speed bonus. So, so, so. But, uh, doesn't really work. Come on. We need a little more. Couple more steps between us and her. Three steps advantage. So that's what I wanted. One. Yeah, that was a nice one. And now finish her off. Some more advantage would be nice. Fuck. Rattling fencer can disarm us. Let us try to get a round her out. Change direction. Come on, quicker, run, good. Finish off. Yes, that was nice. <sighs> I do not think that we got a corpse. Oh no, that's a cobalt shaman. Can we outrun this fencer? I still like to keep us 100, that should work. I do not want to give the cobalt a chance to directly shoot us. Oh, <laughs> close the door. I wanted to close the door, why doesn't it work? Oh my god. Is there something lying within the door? No, it's not. Oh, the rattling opened it. Holy crap. Okay, that's dangerous. Retreat. 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 Get here. Okay, what do we do now? We have got one more charge of teleportation, and I think we're gonna make use of it. Because I do not want to fight a cobalt shaman and a rattling fencer at once. So, so. <laughs> now get out of here. Teleportation. That gets us down here. Okay. Hope that will work. I want to take a look if the Aunt Queen maybe dropped a corpse over there. Where did we kill her? I think it was... Yeah, it was there. Who are you? A gnoll. But this gnoll is neutral. No, it's hostile. That was so clear. Fuck. Throwing an exodus. So, that should work. Oh. Nice. Good. Slave master, you're not important for me. Nah, I do not want you in my back anyway, because maybe we have to flee from these guys from which we already fled once. Oh my god, that's not going well. Not good at all. I will sell this X maybe at the black market. We have got Bose at level 5 at the moment, soon it will be level 6. And I think that Bose will maybe be our most important weapon in the time to come. My god. Yes! Yes! The giant Aunt Queen, the very last aunt we met, dropped a corpse. Ah, uh, let me correct myself, it's not an aunt, it's an ant, of course. Let us eat this. 
and our stomach tingles, which means now we have got acid resistance installed. Finally. Oh my god, dudes. Now, get back out of here. Where is the upstairs? Up there in the corner. Okay. I'll take that with us to sell it. Oh my god, at least with the very, very last ant, we got acid resistance. Ant, not ant. Dude. Mr. Overkill. What are you talking? So, let's still try to be careful because maybe there is an ant around here. A single one. But no, good. So, we got what we came for. We have got acid resistance installed. So now we are resistant to acid and to fire, which is for this character very, very valuable. Also because those are the most deadly traps. Now the only traps that can still be really dangerous for us are those which do physical damage, like stone block traps, door traps, or maybe we could fall into a pit trap. That could still be very, very dangerous. But at least, uh, fire below. I do not want to fight you. Acid traps and fireball traps are now more or less, well, not as dangerous as they would have been otherwise. So, we might now just sell some stuff over here. Okay. So where do you think we played? About one third of our turns now. Are you hostile or are you not hostile? You are not hostile, that's good. What do we want to sell? I want to check the prices of these both. Want to sell them both? Anything else? Yeah, I sell those strange items. Because I never think of he really using bandages, I'll also sell this one. It might be nice if you start to bleed, but uh, I never think of using them. Okay. Oh, that's six for these strange items. That's almost nothing. That's Fourteen for these. Okay, it's a little waste, but don't care. Hand eggs for one. Battle X for six, that's nothing at all. Those are both for one, no. Is he now hostile? Yes, he is. Oh, he drops us a corpse. I'll eat it. <sighs> However, next aim is the Druid Dungeon. And there I hope that we will be able to obtain our first artifact. And maybe even some more items in order to get something like a decent protection value. Still I think for this dungeon we should be more than fine because usually when you do these levels you do not have uh, 57 max HP and not 7 protection. That's Actually that is Quite okay. Eat this orc. What's that? A mangled tome. That could be nice, but I will eat the large ration because otherwise that's too heavy. I will drop some uh, stuff at the at the next downstairs, I think. So, uh, wasted a turn. Is that here? Large fashion. I can keep it there. Can or we can eat it later if we are, are hungry on the way back up. Just a man. Okay. I should definitely think of using my bow against each and every enemy. There is the slightest chance that might uh, 
harm us. I better shoot him. This door is also locked, so we have to kick it, but uh, I think we no need to be too afraid. Oh, it was a flash trap, blinding trap. I think 30 HP is okay, by the way. The, here, there should not be any traps that do more than 30 HP now that we are not... Uh, that now that we are resistant to acid and to fire. So, anyway, let's dive through this dungeon as quickly as we can. We should, at least I think so, we should be strong enough. Was there any specific message? No. So, dive. I'm always afraid of door traps still. <sighs> Keep this ration here, no need to carry it. Oh, this orc is not hostile, so we will not attack it either. We've got a ragatom. We do not want the orc to take it. Okay, now no, he's hostile. Kill him. I will drop these tomes right here in front of the the stairs. Where are they? Here. H. I. Also I will drop maybe the, the, the light crossbow. It's okay if we've got one crossbow with us. I pick these up when we get back up. Hopefully successfully after killing Ketrax. We'll see. That's kind of a whip. Yes, it is a whip. What was that? An apple starts to run away. Okay, don't don't really care. There is a tension room somewhere on this level. And that might actually be quite interesting. I hope that we will find something useful, something for our equipment. Maybe a piece of higher metal armor. Lock door. Let's kick it door trap. Luckily we kicked it from a diagonal angle. But nothing to find here. Please forgive me if I do not uh, moderate the thing too well. It's just that I am on total tension. I'm so afraid. I do not want to mess this up because I had so great chances and then I did the most stupid thing ever. Writing warrior. And got us into a way weaker position. Come on, hit this rattling, please. Yeah, nice. Okay, visit. Good shot. Ouch, it hurt. Fencer, okay, he hit us also. Ah, but we transform him into a mangled heap. So, don't mess with us, guy. That's another cave lizard. And behind him there are grey oozes, and those are actually quite dangerous. Actually, also those lizards are nothing to take easy. So try to kill those oozes with arrows. That works fine. Corpse feet. I would prefer to kill him with arrows too. I think he had some nasty attack that we do not want to get hit with. And that's a large orc. Same with him. Oh, that's a dark elven wizard. But I think he uses a fire attack, which means that we should resist it. As you can see, guys, I now also use my arrows in melee. Oh, shoots at us, but we managed to avoid it. Good. Did he hit us? I think so. No. Take good care now. Shoot. Yeah, that hit. Good. Now he tries to retreat. I will just, by the way, eat one pepper petal before we continue to fight. 
with more than 30 HP I feel a little safer. Oh good, finished off the Dark Elf. Now kill this Grey Ooze, good, very good. We ran out of arrows, I think we, we had so many. Have we got another bigger stack? Just hope that the arrows we used did not get destroyed by these oozes. Here, nine arrows, that looks fine. And we get hit by the wolf, fuck. Spiders. Tarantulas can also do a lot of damage. You remember that uh, Sturmflut, my first character, he got killed by Tarantulas. Good, nice. Can we kill the Hawk Goblin Chief? So, yeah. It's a cave fisher. Hope we can. He's a weaker spider. Hopefully, we can do that. Yeah, we can. Larger spider should also be a little problem. Buck bear, what about him? At least that's some very nice training. Okay, okay, something hit us, didn't it? Ah, oh, but we do not manage to do something against it. Yeah, well, I guess that's the tension room here. A mixed tension room on DD4. Eye of Destruction. Okay, I hope that I can kill it quickly. These arrows. Shoot and hit. No, we did not hit it. Fuck. One more try. Yes! That was very good. <sighs> Three arrows, okay. There's also a Minotaur in there. Missed it. Okay, that was a nice one. Okay. And that's a Dark Sage. He also has got a rather dangerous magical attack. eat another pepper petal just in case Dark Sage will be able to hit us. Oh, fuck. This guy is nasty. What about killing him? Come on. Good. Raccoon should be no problem usually. Check if maybe we've got a bigger stack of arrows. No, but we have rather big stacks of quarrels. So I think I will use my mithril arrows for for the sage. Yes, that was good. And now. Okay, I can now pick up the arrows that we used earlier. Maybe we are lucky and these guys already dropped something nice for us. Let's see. I think we picked up a bigger stack of five arrows or something like that. Anyway. Let's try this one. I think for uh, Druid Dungeon 4, this has been quite a tough tension room. And now I really want a bigger stack because these guys are too dangerous. I want to shoot him. Maybe two is okay. Hit. Hit. Good. Three arrows, good. Again, we hit him. Very nice. And he's dead. Tarantula is also one that I want to shoot. Oh, I think I just missed the good stack. No, I do not want to rename ourselves. Um, 
instead I like to use these arrows in order to kill this tarantula messed up damn but that was a hit and we get poison fuck I hope that would not happen but uh, tarantula had another opinion Ah, oh, and hits us again. Fuck. Oh, what's going on here? We will not die to your poison. Surely not. This guy should be easy. Need to get a lot of points of poison damage. But I think with our first aid skill we should be able to work against it quickly enough. It's a rattling fencer. What's that? That's too much. <sighs> anyway, I will use the crossbow. Just hope it's not cursed. No, it's not. That's good. So I've got some bigger stacks of quarrels with this one. Oh. Oh, what was that? Why did this bat do so much damage? Oh, I know the reason. On pure metal and we're poisoned I have to eat quickly this pepper petal oh I almost killed us I cannot believe it can we outrun this guy we fail with our first aid We are poison resistant as far as I know. I hope that's true. Yeah, we are. Now the poison wore off. Okay, that's definitely good to know. Crossbows are absolutely no option for us because they do damage when we use them to us. Good, killed this guy. An arrow of targeting, that's good. I will continue to use this one. <laughs> good. Arrow slaying, that's also nice. Just a single one though. I think we have no more. Oh, we've got two spent sweets and I, I will use them right now. I cannot stand walking around with so little hit points. Maybe I could even use our holy water to bless those two spent sweets. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Everything else would be reckless. Dip the two spent sweets into the holy water. And now use one of them in order to get back to almost full HP I hope. Yes, that feels better. Anything on the ground that we want to pick up? Now we can finally check out what we found here. Oh, a whole lot of arrows, especially the stack of 14 is one thing that we want to use right now. Even more arrows. Okay, we did not get anything really useful from this tension room. That's a little sad. Especially because it took us quite some time to get through there. take the dwarven sausage here rather downstairs I will also drop some stuff here I will drop the heavy crossbow that's for sure I will drop the whip which I'm surely not going to use 
and I will also drop the quarrels, which are also a waste of carrying capacity. Guess that's all. Yes. Good. Now we're not burdened anymore. That's definitely a good thing. Here we've got the downstairs. Not yet to the bottom level, but I think it should not be too much anymore. Here. A very humid room. I cannot remember what that did. Arrow. Eat the bat, maybe? No, not eat it. Instead, we enter the bottom level of the Druid dungeon. And here we are soon going to face Keithrax, the Black Druid. So, but at first, I'll end this episode, save the game, and take a little break. Hope to see you again for the next one, guys, when we're going to face Keithrax. Bye, everybody.